In this tutorial and two others that follow, I will demonstrate how to use Excel functions to compute descriptive statistics for a variable for only a subset of the cases in a data set. For instance, using the hypothetical data before us, perhaps we want to know how students who are women performed on exam number one as compared to the students who are men. For starters, we will look at two Excel functions that are designed for this very purpose. These are the COUNTIF and the AVERAGE IF functions. The COUNTIF function allows us to identify the number of cases that satisfy a particular criterion. In this instance, we will separately count the number of females and the number of males in this class. To do so, type into the cell below female and to the right of n the following function. Equal count if open parenthesis then we type in the criterion range which in this case contains student values for the variable sex so I will just highlight the range B2 through B18 followed by a comma then by the group identifier which in this first instance is female. And then close parenthesis. Hit return. The result indicates that there are 10 women in this class. Note that the criterion value is contained inside a pair of double quotation marks. In the cell to the right, we can perform the same procedure to count the number of men in the class, this time changing the criterion value to male. Equal, count if, open parenthesis, highlight the range where the data are contained, comma, inside double quotation marks, male, close parenthesis, and hit return. It is also worth noting that the count if function is not case sensitive. I would get the same result had I capitalized male or put the entire word in capital letters. It is also worth noting that we can use the count if function to identify the number of cases that meet a quantitative criterion, such as the number of students who are 25 years of age, which I'll just enter in down here for illustration. In this instance, the function syntax would be equal count if open parenthesis. Now we'll highlight the range where the age variable for the criterion is provided, comma, and inside quotations, double quotation marks, equal 25, close parenthesis. And there are three students who are 25 years of age. Or perhaps the number of students who are less than 25 years of age which there are six of them in this case, or the number of students who are 25 years of age or younger. And equal after the less than sign will give us then the number of cases that are less than or equal to 25. Hit return. And there are nine in this instance. Of course, we could have asked how many students are greater than 25. And there are eight. Or how many students are greater than or equal to 25 years of age. Or we could ask how many students are not 25 years of age. And what we'll see, the not equal to is the less than sign followed immediately by then the greater than sign which there are 14. I think you get the picture.
we are not limited to counting the number of cases that satisfy only one criterion. Excel has created the COUNTIFS function that counts the number of cases that satisfy multiple criteria. Its syntax is similar to that of the COUNTIF function. As an example, let's assume that we want to know the number of individuals in our class who are 25 years of age and older, but who are no older than 28 years of age. To find this, we can use the COUNTIF function, uh, count ifs function as follows. Equal count ifs, don't forget the s, open parenthesis, we'll highlight the data range that contains the information for that first criterion, comma, greater than or equal to 25, and don't forget to close that in double quotations, comma, now we'll identify the range where the criterion, the second criterion is contained, and since we're using the same variable, that being age, I'll highlight that range again, comma, and now we'll add less than or equal to 28. Close parenthesis and hit return. And there are six students who fall between 25 and 28 years of age, including the years 25 and 28. We can also use two different variables in a count ifs command. Let's say that we want to know the number of students who are female and who are 25 years of age and older. To find this count, we could use the count ifs command as follows. Equal, the command is count ifs, open parenthesis. Now I will highlight the data range that contains information for the first criterion, followed by a comma, and then female, comma, highlight the data range for the second criterion, which we're using age information here, comma, greater than or equal to 25. And close that in double quotation marks, and then close parenthesis. And there are seven women who are 25 years of age or older in this class of 17 students. We are not even limited to only two criteria by the count ifs command. Additional criteria, ranges, and criteria values can be included up to 127 criteria range, criteria value pairs. But each additional criterion range must have the same number of rows and columns as the very first criterion range. So let me go ahead and delete those, those last few examples of using the count ifs function. And what we're going to do now is go back and add in more information for descriptive statistics. In the table here we see for women and men in this hypothetical class of students. The average if function allows us to find the mean for a variable for only a subset of cases in a data set. For instance, to find the mean exam 1 score for only women in this class, we could use the following formula. Equal average if open parenthesis. I'll highlight the criterion range that we'll use for selecting cases and we're using whether or not someone's a male or female or the sex category here, comma, identify what the value of this criterion is that we're selecting cases based on. So women in this case are female, comma. Now I want to highlight the data range where the variable is where we're trying to, that we're trying to find the average of, and that's exam one.
close parenthesis. And what this indicates then is that the women in this class had an average value for exam one of 79.46 points. Now we can use the same command syntax to find the average exam score for exam one for the men in this class. I'll move the cursor for the mean row, but under the male column, equal, average, if, open parenthesis, highlight the criterion range, comma, and we'll select cases that satisfy the criterion value of male, comma, and now we'll highlight the data range that contains the variable that we want to find the average of. Close parenthesis and hit return. And here we see that males in this class average 84.36 points. Just as Excel has created the count ifs function that permits us to count the number of cases that satisfy two or more criteria, it has also created the average ifs function that allows us to find the mean of a subset of cases that is defined by two or more criteria. For instance, let's assume that what we want to do is to find the average exam one score in the class of students, but only for students who are women and who are at least 25 years of age. To do so, we would use the following formula. Equal, average, ifs, don't forget the s, open parenthesis. Now at this point, what we'll do is highlight the data range that contains the information for which, the variable for which we want to find the average of, this being exam one, comma, now we begin to identify the criteria we'll use. The first criteria range will contain the information as to a student's sex, comma, and identify the value of female, comma, now identify the range that contains the information for criterion two, comma, and identify the value greater than or equal to 25. Close double quotation marks and then close parenthesis. Now you notice here while the average if had us to identify the criterion range followed by the criterion value for selecting a case for finding the average, then it identified, asked us to identify the range where the information is for finding the average of. Now here instead what I'd ask us to do is to identify the data range that contains the variable for which we want to find the average followed by then criterion range one, criterion one value, then criterion range two, and cri criterion two value and hit return. And we see then an average of 79.16 for women who are 25 years of age or higher in this class for exam number one. I'm not sure why they decided to flip where the data range is for the variable for which you want to find the average between the average if and average ifs, but just keep in mind that it is in a different place now. In another tutorial, I will demonstrate how we can generate other descriptive statistics for a subset of cases in a data set.